Hi there guys and welcome back to another RuneScape video. This one is going to be a bit of a pet update, so over the past few weeks I guess, I haven't really been going for pets, but I thought I'd, you know, just smash a couple out, it was a bit, give me something to do over Christmas, and it was quite good fun, so as you can see here, first of all, I managed to get the Barry pet from Raxor, this was quite a big surprise, I wasn't really expecting it because my KC isn't very good, and then after that I decided to go Ascensions, and I only visited a couple of clips of me actually getting the uh, the uh, ascension pets because I was playing on a very small PC and pretty laggy. This was because I was staying at uh, one of my relatives houses because I had no internet at my house for almost two weeks. Now whilst going for these ascension pets I decided to do... So I started off at Sextus simply because I went to Sextus anyway to start making some bows and I got the pet before I made any um, had any signets at all. So then I decided to do six bows because I thought that would roughly give me the right KC in order to reach three thresholds which would then give me a decent drop rate for the pets. So I started off by getting six signets there. I then moved on to quarters because I already had that pet from a while ago and then aside from that I then went on and did the others in order doing six signets each. Now I think one of the reasons why I didn't find this too bad was because I got fairly lucky um, and I only cost me 350 mil on rounding up to make six bows, which meant that I ended up coming out with quite a lot of profit. This was mainly due to the fact that I got extremely lucky at Primus and Tertius. Everything else was pretty much on drop rate. Um, but for Primus, which the keys are almost twice the price of some of the other keys, I managed to get nine signets in around 130 keys, which is pretty outstanding. So, if I, without further ado, now I've been holding these in the bank not really sure why, but I thought it'd be quite cool just to summon them all at the same time. I uh, just check I don't have a pet. Oh, I've got an eye out. Never mind. So what I'm going to do is now click them and summon them. So we've unlocked Regio Primulus, Secundus, Secundulus, Tertiolus, Quartulus, Quintulus, and Sextulus. So that looks pretty cool. So if I go into my pet interface and follow effects and they're all there and my favorite is probably going to be Quintus because he's the heart and most annoying to get so I'm just going to get him out and examining my KC I have nearly 4,000 kills so the other thing I've been doing quite a lot recently because it came up to ceilings week and that is the best week at hard mode to try and do records our team decided to do seven man records as we currently well we held the, the record before but because of the Onslaught buff and meta nerf. This changed a few things, and so we thought we'd go back and, and try and set a new time. As you can see here, I got my personal record is 1616. This is the fastest kill I managed to do. We did manage to get a 1554, but I wasn't in that kill. Nonetheless, we still did manage to retain our record of the seven man fastest killing game at hard mode, so that was quite fun. And finally, the last sort of interesting thing I've done recently is been messing around a little bit with the Majra Aura. Uh, as you will see, I've produced a video on it earlier, but this one is the second time uh, that I used it. And basically, I was messing around with it again at Vraga. I thought it was worth and I wanted to test a few things out. Um, but I was switching styles at Virago, so doing sort of a combination of either mage and range or mage and melee. This was purely for fun and completely experimental. But at, as most people will know, or if you do Virago, you will know that at on any single phase, the highest XP with one star you can get is 26.6. So by using an aura which not only increases my damage by 50%, but then is not specific to one style, means that I can brid and get over max XP. And that's what I wanted to try and see how you know how much XP could I get on a single phase. So I end up doing for the mage and range, as you will see in the in the clips, for the mage and range P2, and it was completely experimental. I probably could have done better. I got 33k. XP, which isn't too bad, and then for the mage and melee, I managed to get 35k. Also, you'll see that on phase 4, I managed to get above max XP, which is pretty good going, seeing as phase, phase 4 isn't that beneficial to use dual wields, where, uh, to, sorry, to, to hybrid, whereas on P2 it is. As you can see, whilst we're doing this, the last kill of the trip, we managed to get a singularity, which was pretty nice. They are fairly high. Price singularity at the moment, but one is extremely cheap at 370 mil. But the singularity was 150 mil almost exactly, so we got a 30 mil split, which is always nice. 
I've been dry at Rago for a long time, so definitely good to get some GP from there. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed a bit of update on my pet progress, even though I'm not sort of going for insane final boss. It is something that obviously is quite fun to do, uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.